CAM's been designed by MBDA as a system that's suitable for both naval and land applications. So the concept was from the uh, UK Armed Forces, where both the Navy and the Army needed a new defence system to protect both the Army and the Navy. So CAM has been designed as a modular system that's adaptable for use by both land and naval forces and can be integrated with a wide range of uh, radars and C2 systems. So for Poland, for example, we could use a Polish radar with a Polish C2 system. In the UK, we use different radars for the land forces and for the naval forces, but because of the modular approach, we can integrate with both systems. CAM is actually a family of missiles where we have the standard range version, which is known as just straight CAM, which has a range of around 25 kilometers. And then we have an extended range version for extended ranges out to beyond 45 kilometers and 50 kilometers. Well, a big advantage of CAM is it has an active radar seeker on board. So you don't need dedicated target radars and you don't need target illuminators. So that saves a lot of weight and a lot of complexity from the system on board a ship. And uh, also without saving weight, it also saves cost and complexity. Um, because we use a soft vertical launch system with CAM, it also means you don't need to worry about uh, managing hot uh, rocket motor gases on board ship. So it makes it safer for use on board ship. And on board la uh, for land use, it also uh, has benefits because it means you don't give away your position when you engage an enemy and uh, it allows you to fire the missile in uh, wooded terrain or in urban environments. A big advantage of CAM, and one of the reasons, uh, one of the uh, logics behind CAM, is it's designed to face a modern threat environment, which is where you see very high numbers of threats approaching at you from multiple directions. So CAM's been designed to be able to engage multiple targets across 360 degrees simultaneously. So in the land environment, uh, the launcher you see here at MSPO has eight missiles on board. The land launcher is able to fire all of those eight missiles at eight different targets and control them all in the air at the same time. In the naval application, a naval vessel might have 32 or 48 missiles and would be able to fire, in theory, all of those missiles at the same time against different targets and engage them all simultaneously. So it's a real advantage of the system.